Hello, so it's me again. I'm going to be talking about the issues that I said about, the serious issues that I said I was going to talk to you about yesterday in my first video. Well, I recorded that video yesterday and then put it on today. Um, so, anxiety and depression. Um, I'll talk to you about the anxiety first. I have both anxiety and depression. They kind of both kind of come into each other. So if you have anxiety, you normally get depression. Or if you've got depression, you normally get anxiety. So they're both quite closely linked. But they're both like kind of like to do with like your, men like your brain and stuff. So anyway, yeah, so anxiety. Um, with me, my like I think you get different types of anxiety. My type of anxiety is like being around too many people and like um like new changes and stuff so like if say somebody wanted to like if we were going to move house i would get panicky about that because it'd be moving to a new place and stuff like that if i am in a room with loads of people i start to panic um that kind of thing so that's the kind of thing that my anxiety gets affected by I'd say I've had anxiety since I was really young, but we never really got it diagnosed when I was young because we didn't really think we didn't really know what was wrong with me because I kept getting like kept feeling really ill and stuff and like not wanting to do stuff and things like that. Like I missed a lot of school. I've missed my last year of school, like in secondary. I miss most of the year, and when I was like, but in the winter and stuff, I had chest infections, so that could be why. But also my anxiety was playing up as well. So the days that my anxiety was playing up, I wouldn't go in. And in the days where I was having chest infection, well, the times, it's not exactly one day you get a chest infection, but like the days that I did have chest infections, I'd be off as well. So I kind of wasn't in a lot. And then on the days that I was in, I wouldn't go to a lot of lessons or I'd be out of most of my lessons or like, left during my lessons or would come in late because my anxiety's been playing up and I didn't want to go in the room. I normally would either sit at the very back of the class or at the very front of the class so if I need if I wanted to leave I could at any time. But I felt, you know, like there was no escape kind of thing. Like I couldn't go anywhere, like every you know, like if I wanted to leave everybody would be laughing at me and stuff and I wouldn't be able to speak to the teacher if I needed to leave and stuff. So that's like how I felt with my anxiety at school. College, I have to take a bus, two buses there, two buses back. So, and like I've nearly like got off the bus during the journeys because I've just got really like, my anxiety is just playing up so badly that I just can't cope. But I try and stay on for as long as possible. I don't think I've ever got off before, so hopefully it won't happen. But every time I go in the bus, it's just like, I'm gonna have to get off in a minute and stuff. But I set myself little goals, like, I know where most of the bus stops are now because of the journey, like, because I've been going to college for a few weeks, I kind of know where the stops are and stuff. So I kind of go, like, if you can get to this stop and then get off or pass that stop and things like that. So that's the kind of thing I do to try and get through my anxiety and it tends to work. So hopefully that will carry on working. Um. So that's kind of what I do with that. College, I get a bit panicky because I'm quite far away from home. I don't like being away from home that much, you know. Like, this is, like, the place where I feel most kind of, like, comforted. But even now, I get anxiety at home, which is really horrible. Um, I get really panicky at dinner times. I hate, like, normally I have to leave the table during the dinner because I just can't cope. Um, so, yeah, that's ba basically anxieties took over a lot of my life which is really horrible to have to say that, but it's true. I had a learning mentor and a counsellor at school, and I had, and now I've got a counsellor at college, and my doctor's quite involved with it all, so hopefully it'll be okay. My depression, um, I kind of realised I had depression in the start of last, the end of last year. Um, but I didn't tell anybody until about June, May, June time. It's around May ish. That was when I finally announced that I think I have depression. And the only reason, really, why I actually said about it was because I burst into tears at school and I just had to tell somebody, which 
turns out I told my learning mentor and she said to me to go and see my doctor who then I went to see and he kind of said yeah you've got a bit of depression and stuff but I think it's getting worse this depression now so you just have to keep an eye on me kind of thing and just hope but my counsellor at college she like knows about it and stuff so most people know about it now kind of thing but there's like most of my family only really my mum and my family know about it because I just feel really kind of like stupid for having it and stuff most of my friends at college know about it and they're really supportive and things like that and most of my friends generally know about it because i've told them and stuff and they're kind of like if you ever need to talk you can talk to me and stuff and i think that's really good that they kind of understand and stuff but you just feel like you've left let down people and things like that like everybody was saying to me well my mum and stuff was always saying you're never going to get depression you're so strong and things like that and I felt like I left, let them down and stuff and some people I don't mind talking to it about, like talking about it to them, but like some people I'm just like, I'm not talking to you about it, I don't feel comfortable talking to you about it and things like that. So it just depends and some people aren't very understanding, like there was people who are just like, you know, like they'll make you try and feel worse I think and things like that. And some people don't know about it and then they accidentally make you feel worse but they don't didn't know about it kind of thing. So it's really hard to like, with it, it's really hard to have it and stuff. So, yeah, it's really horrible. But there is, you know, you feel alone but you're not alone if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I'm alone but at the same time I know there's people out there but I just can't get over the fact that I feel alone. So... That's how I feel about it, like, that there's nobody else that I can talk to about it and stuff. And so, it can be quite hard and stuff. Um, I will put some links to, like, you know, like, main organisations and stuff at the bottom for you to, like, go and have a look at, like, symptoms and stuff. I might put a couple of the symptoms down in the, in the description bit. But you can also talk to me on my Facebook and Twitter. I haven't put them on the... I might put them on the screen, I don't know yet, but um, just depends, but you can talk to me on them, I think on Facebook you can message me, so if you don't want to like say it in public you don't have to, or you can on my Twitter, if you just like put like I want to DM you or something then just about it, just put that or something, and then you can talk and then I'll follow you so you can message me about it. Um, or you can leave your comments below so you can like if you don't mind, like, having other people know about it, you could put your comments down and tell me about your experience, if you've had past experience or you're currently going through it and stuff. So, you can, either one, anxiety or depression. And if there's um, any, like, other issues, like, um, if you want to talk about, if you want me to do a thing about Alzheimer's or bullying or something like that, then just message me or if you want me to do a two different videos one about anxiety by itself and one about depression by itself just let me know so i can do them and anything else that you want me to do and don't forget to like my facebook page and follow my twitter as well and like this video and subscribe to my channel as well please thank you bye